everyone, this is Luke from the Membership and Activities Office, and in this final Zoom video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use all the different tools and all the different buttons when you're in a Zoom meeting. So it may seem like a lot based on what you're looking at right now, but really, it just comes down to using, using Zoom over and over and over again to really become familiar with using these different tools. But for now, I'm going to go through the most important ones, and again, if you guys have any questions, I'll be dropping my contact information in at the end of the video. So the first thing that I like to go over with people is the mute and the video buttons. So to do that, all you need to do right now, I'm unmuted. If I wanted to mute myself, I would just click on the mute button. And right now I'm muted. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but if you are muted and you're trying to talk, there's going to be that pop up that you just saw that says that you're muted. And then to unmute and then to unmute yourself, you would just click on the mute button again. With the stop and start video button, it's the exact same thing. You click on the stop video button with your video on, and it'll turn off your video. If you want to turn it back on, just click start video. All right, with participants, if you click on that, it'll show you a list of everyone who is in the meeting on your right hand side. And It'll also allow you to raise your hand. So if you just click on raise hand, I'm not going to do that right now because then I'd have to run to my laptop in the admin office and lower my hand. But the host would be able to lower your hand after you've asked a question or something along those lines. To exit out of the uh, participants box, just go ahead and click on this little arrow in the top left corner of, of the box. Click on it, that and hit close. To chat, go ahead and click the chat button, and then you would just type in a message here. There we go. And then everyone would be able to see that message that you just sent. If you want to send the message to an individual, you would just go ahead and go to where it says to, and then click where it says everyone. Now there's only one other person in here with me, but if you but you would see everyone in the meeting right here so you would just click on the individual that you want to send it to and then it will say that you're sending the message privately and then you would type in your message like normal and then it would also say privately up here and it'll appear in the same box as your general messages are but if it says privately which it does right here on the right side then you'll know that the person you sent it to was the only person who saw it. Again, to close out of that box, hit the little arrow and click close. All right, screen sharing. Screen sharing, you may or may not do at some point while you're using Zoom. Usually the host is the only person who's able to actually share their screen, but the host can enable participants to share their screen. So I'm not going to go over that right now, but if you want to know more about Zoom, my door is always open for you all to ask questions. Um, I'm not going to worry about recording either. I've been in very few Zoom meetings where they've actually been recorded, so I'm not going to worry about that. Reactions, they're pretty self-explanatory. You click on that and you're going to have a couple emojis here. Usually you might have a little more, but if I wanted to applaud someone's comments, I would just click on the applauding emoji and it's going to be in the top left corner of my screen for like maybe 10 seconds or so and then it'll go away on its own. Is it going to go away? Yep. Okay, so yeah, it goes away on its own, stays up again for about 10 seconds. So if you want to, you know, applaud someone or give them a thumbs up, you would just give them a thumbs up. And then another question I get a lot is how do you uh, toggle between different views? So right now we are in speak. So right now we're in gallery view. Gallery view will enable you to see everyone on one screen at the same time. I think the maximum number of people that can fit on one screen is somewhere between 20 or 24. So if that's the case, if you have more than 20 or 24 people, you'll have to get another page and you would have to switch between pages to see everyone. But in this case, since there's only two people here, I am able to see everybody. But if I just wanted to see who is talking at that time, if there are a lot of people in your Zoom meeting, go ahead and click where it says speaker view. 
in the top right hand corner and that way even though there's only one other person in the meeting it would automatically switch to whoever is talking at that moment so I'm gonna go back to gallery view because that's what I personally like and then if you want to enter full screen it's gonna be right next to speaker or gallery view so just click on that and you're now in full screen all right guys so that's really the last thing about using zoom as a participant um, there are a few more tools and steps if you want to be the host, but I'm not going to go over that in this video. Um, if you guys have questions about what to do as the host or how a host is different than a participant, you all are more than welcome to call me at 239-444-2127. Or if you wanted to shoot me an email, I or my email is lrichmond at sprainrun.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all around the club. Bye-bye.